Welcome to Latch Lux. I'm Steph, the founder of Latch Lux, where we offer nursing tops and support for breastfeeding moms. Today I'm so excited to talk to you about the upright cradle hold breastfeeding position because this is the position that I use the most often. But before we get into that, be sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell if you're interested in learning more about breastfeeding positions or other breastfeeding tips. Now, as I mentioned, the upright cradle hold is my favorite breastfeeding position, and it's the one that I find myself using the most often. It's so easy and comfortable for both me and my daughter, and it's pretty natural as well, and just feels like we're cuddling. The way that I approach this position is by cradling my baby in one arm, but still having her rest on my lap a little bit to help distribute her weight. So let's walk through some of the specific steps of executing on the upright cradle hold breastfeeding position. The first step for this breastfeeding position and many breastfeeding positions is to find a comfortable seat. I love to sit in our rocking chair together and make sure that my back is well supported, that my feet are on the ground so that I'm stable and steady as well as relaxed for our breastfeeding session. Step number two is to position your baby. So again, this is probably pretty natural for most of us to just hold our baby in our arms and snuggle up. When we're specifically looking at the upright cradle hold position, we want to make sure that our baby is positioned on the side that we'll be feeding from. So if I'm going to be feeding from my left breast, I'm going to cradle my baby in my left arm. With your baby's head resting in the nook of your elbow and their body resting on your lap, they feel nice and secure and you can feel like you're really holding them in tight. We want to make sure that we're supporting our baby. So in this position, that's great because it really offers us the support that our baby needs around their head and neck and throughout their body. As well as supporting your baby, you also want to support your breast. Supporting your breast is going to help you guide your baby to a latch. So as our baby is on our lap, in our crate, upright cradle hold position, and we're getting ready for them to latch, and we're supporting our breast, we can kind of tickle that nose, encourage the wide open mouth that's best for breastfeeding, and then assist our baby with getting as much of our breast as possible in their mouth. As we're getting ready to guide our baby to a latch, it's important to wait for a wide open mouth. This wide open mouth is going to encourage a deep latch, which is going to be the most comfortable for you to avoid any pain to your nipple, as well as the most effective for your baby to get milk from your breast. Once we have that wide open mouth, then we can kind of squish our breast together to get as much of our breast and breast tissue in their mouth as possible. Once we feel comfortable that our baby has a good latch, then we'll kind of monitor them, make sure they are drinking milk and have a consistent rhythm that we can hear them swallowing and see that movement around their jaw. One of the things that I love most about this position is that it's very comfortable for me and my baby. It gives me a good view of her face and she'll just look up at me with her big beautiful eyes and I can just bond with her and feel all the love that we have for each other. It's also great because it does help distribute my baby's weight and most of her weight will rest on my lap so I don't feel like I'm having to support her just solely with my arms which can get pretty tiring. Again, this does work well as your baby gets older. We can see with a kind of a baby doll here that's a little bit more newborn size, it doesn't quite fit as well to have their body rested on my lap and have them ready to latch. So. He's great for helping us demonstrate this position, but if you're interested in using this position, I do think it'll work best as your baby gets a little older. Another great thing about this breastfeeding position or any upright breastfeeding position is the way that it aids in digestion for your baby. By having them in this vertical position, it really allows the milk to flow down and stay down, reducing reflux or spit ups from your baby. Now, while this position might feel pretty natural for you to cuddle in with your baby and have them snuggled up, it does take some practice as does any breastfeeding position. If you try it a few times and find that it's not working for you, don't give up. Keep at it if it's a position that you're really interested in and that you think could work for you in the long term. 
This position might not always be an option for you because it does require you to be in a seated position and have a lap available for your baby to sit on. Some other positions that might work better for you if the upright cradle hold isn't an option at that time would be your more traditional cradle hold where your baby is across in a horizontal position across your chest. You might find these other upright positions to be an option for you as well, like the upright football hold or the koala hold. They both offer some of the same benefits of an upright position, but with your upright football hold, your baby can be off more to the side rather than across your body resting on your lap. And with the koala hold, your baby can be kind of more faced directly on in a fully seated position. The koala hold is also great because your baby can be around your hip. So if you are really multitasking and up for the challenge, you can have your baby on your hip um, and be breastfeeding them while you are standing. I would love to hear how this upright cradle hold position works for you and if it becomes a favorite of yours as it has mine. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you find that one of the alternative positions worked better for you. Thank you so much for checking out this video today and we'll see you soon for more breastfeeding positions.